right? Ah, uh, we got two guys. Actually, Bob hired these guys, and they brought uh, an axle and wheels. Right now, they are putting on the wheels, but we cannot really lift the trailer. You know, I told you about that. The ACs are too close, so uh, we're taking off the ACs right now. Unfortunately, this is a monsoon season and a hurricane is just coming. I think it's gonna hit us tomorrow. So we decided not to pull it today. The wash is gonna be flooded and uh, the road is gonna be really bad. And we also have, you know, these openings which could withstand some rain. I brought some <clears throat> foil and sealers, but it cannot withstand the hurricane probably so we're gonna keep it here for a few more days until the uh, hurricane passes by here are the I had to remove these uh, long bolts that are coming out and holding this panel that way they can they can move the AC pretty tight they have to pull it straight really really straight I have the glass doors I, I told you the last time big glass door sliding door and it turns out that we have a water heater too Yesterday I removed all the trimming the frames here that they built. So I actually free the trailer that way. <clears throat> These are the axles. They're putting up the first yeah, wheel me. right now with the tire on. Pretty tight place. <laughs> and as you can see that the whole part is lifted the whole slide out oh, yeah. you see the gap here and, and there oh, yeah. Yeah. we survived a hurricane last night it's getting better now there's no rain a little bit more wind uh, we cleared the bottom completely at the trailer and we have the four wheels on and the guys are here to pull it out right now we try to compensate that slope a little bit with some um, broken brakes i just don't know why we pull it out for with a 150 i think we need at least a 250 but the boys know what they do so and here's Bob Burr. He was so generous to give us uh, this mobile home. Because he's gonna build uh, this house up to the roof here. So he's gonna have a normal home, not just a mobile home. Now this is another problem that we're facing that the slide is uh, has a concrete floor and it's so much heavier than the other side and you can see how much it's tilting
So at that point, uh, I started to get nervous. Uh, it wasn't funny. It was uh, actually uh, very painful to watch, uh, and especially uh, was painful because uh, they didn't listen. So first, I was telling them that 150 will not pull. Oh yes, it will. It it it's a four wheel drive. I said it has nothing to do with four wheel drive. They don't get the concept. And then some basic physics, like uh, if you put a heavy thing on the hitch, it's going to sink the trucks bad. And it also uh, going to tilt the whole trailer, so I was worried about the top. Of course, they didn't listen, so they broke the top in the next few seconds. And then you will see what happens. So I suggested after the... Next tries, do you have a backhoe? Yeah, we couldn't do it with the other truck. Now they call this uh, water, tr uh, water truck. So we call that water truck to help us because the bosses couldn't handle it. Now they have to do some fitting so the hitch would fit a little bit higher. And this is a 250. Probably better luck. Hold it. Oh boy! Right, so a backhoe shows up in about an hour, an hour and a half. And uh, you know the backhoe we used to order from uh, the marina? It has any kinds of hitch you want. So they could come with the right size hitch and they could actually lift and pull the whole thing out straight. I was expecting that they are hiring that backhoe when a normal backhoe showed up I was again talked to the guy and telling him what do you guys do that you're gonna destroy the trailer no no we're gonna use a chain I said the chain cannot handle that weight yeah we're gonna do that da, da, da. so they broke the pavers I had to repair the pavers and uh, they broke my crank too and you will see what happens next so here's the third uh, vehicle that trying to get this out. The problem is that if you put this on the hitch, it it uh, gonna be too low on the level, and it raises up the top. They already broke it, so I have to seal it later. And. Uh,
I really don't see that it's a good idea right now, but whatever. can see those pavers and uh, blocks we put them there for a compensation for the weight at the other side you can see how much it tilts uh, because of the concrete floor Let's have an interview with Bob. Hey Bob, say hi to my subscribers. Hi there. <laughs> we are returning right now. And the only thing that holds this whole thing is that piece of chain. Um, was a little bit concerned. Well, it was holding it with a chain. It was a chain, yeah. I was a little bit I just I just said I was a little bit concerned about it. So yeah for a reason. Trying with a different chain now. Yeah. 
so we just blow a tire like why not At that point, I, I I was I was really hopeless. So I, they did not listen, not one reasonable thing, basic physics uh, or just common sense didn't play in that game. So when we finally put it on the road, I'm like, oh, maybe we do it. Maybe we're gonna make it. Well, we didn't. Pulling out, guys, right now. My phone, phone's battery is dead, so I'm gonna be recording when we home. We are moving, guys. Step by step. Now, they are here at our, here at our property. They're trying to back up this big thing. Not much luck. Next morning, yesterday was a disaster. Uh, the main problem, well, two main problems, is uh, first of all, this thing is very, very heavy on the slide side because of the concrete floor. And the other thing is that, well, I don't want to blame anybody, but it's just common sense. And actually, they uh, weren't listening the reason why we have uh, two axles on these homes is because it's very heavy and it's it's extra heavy as I said but when we came back here they took a very sharp turn they not uh, you know they tried they tried to uh, finish the job quick and easy well with the sharp turn you blow a tire as we did you know back at Loma del Mar where we were uh, bringing this from so they blew it again that front tire when they were backing here up I just didn't have uh, enough battery life so my battery died <clears throat> they blew that tire and it puts all the weight on just one axle and that one axle couldn't handle it as you can see it broke so they uh they left i sealed somewhat you know as much as i could the doors i couldn't seal the top where the acs go because uh, it was too late and uh, so i can't go up right now the other thing is i'm just gonna go to the other side is that they broke all the windows <sighs> and this one too so I am really not happy I'm trying to be calm about it uh, they even broke that frame 
when they were pulling in and taking those sharp turns, which you don't have to, I don't know why. Anyway, uh, there was a ladder on the truck and I'm telling them, take that ladder off, it's gonna break the windows and, you know, ignoring. See what happens. You can see that the uh, floor broke and the wall, one piece there. The cabinets moved and it's open. So thank God we didn't have rain last night. Next step is I have to finish the concrete pad there oh yeah I, I wasn't recording we've been just so busy i can show you this later when i'm done in a few days they're gonna come back put a new axle on it and we're gonna pull it well they wanted to have two backhoes one on each side and lift it up and take it and i said no f no way <laughs> or break the floor let's break the floor yeah right guys we're gonna break the floor I'm sorry, no. So I show you the back. So these concrete pads will be under the frame, exactly under the frame. You can see how hard. These are all the rocks that came out. And we filled up the puddles the dirt one is done <laughs> one oh you know what this is because they usually don't use it here in mexico <laughs> well I, I am i'm using it we have some rebar in it <laughs> you can push your hand in here too. Here, in that part. Just easy, okay? Okay. I help you. Okay. Nice. We're gonna take a picture, yeah? Okay? Okay. Yeah, we're finishing these for the trailer. I have a good help here. His name is Ernesto. Hola. <laughs> Almost eight o'clock. Still working on these uh, pads. Uh, me... Yeah, it's hard to focus on that dark. So we have, I think, uh, two more left. He's feeling. This and we have one more in the middle. Mañana el otro. Hoy. Hoy. Hoy, hoy.